I'm what you see, nothing more, nothing less, and my name is Phyla. Love the name, because it means love. I graduated from the flight attendant school in 1948, number one in the class. I'm flying international, New York to London, and Mother sent me a telegram, <laughs> and she said, WSM wants to interview you, so fly home. Met with Brad Crandall, and he said, we need a person to do the first television show in the South. I said, count me in. We had a contest and somebody came up with the name Kitchen Collie. It was so fun and such a fiasco. For instance, General Electric sent me an electric mixer. Well, Lord have mercy, I always use a little hand mixer. I turned the mixer on, put the egg whites in the mixer. Had never seen a darn electric mixer. Turned the thing on, it did egg whites all over the kitchen. It was so powerful. And it was just funny. They thought it was supposed to be funny. But my show, the first year, and I did it for five or six years, won the Zenith Television Award. Put me on the map. When I married, I married a very extremely wealthy man, and it was destiny that I marry this man. He watched me during the first television show in the South. Took him four years to ask me to marry him. Four years. We honeymoon for a year, used all of his money up, and out of necessity, we started the end. Before the interstates, everybody had to travel 41A from Chicago to Miami. So we built an inn in Clarksville. It was a halfway point for people to stop. Everybody stopped there. Everybody. There was no place. We did this for four motels. Sure, I cooked for them. My mother was a fabulous cook. My grandmother was a fabulous cook. And I cooked. I don't say that I'm fabulous, but I'm an interesting cook. And so, when I would cook, then I started just writing cookbooks. They're all, all different. I've, I would say I've written 17. Howard Baker was visiting the inn, and he came up with one of my cookbooks. He said, it's all top secret right now, but the United Nations is, vis is going to visit Tennessee. He said, you need to do the catering. What would you cook? If you were a Tennessean, what is the thing that you barbecue? We had turnip greens. We had corn on the cob. It was just like cooking for my family, except I was cooking for 1,700 people with their bodyguards. I wanted to serve mint juleps. And of course, the mayor had already said, no, you can't. I said, well, that's fine. Turn your back. Now, to get these mint juleps and to make them, I called Jack Daniels. Call it, that's what we Southerners like. Jack Daniels Black Label. It's the best damn bourbon in the world. It is. I thought, well, how am I going to make all these things? So I called the Coca-Cola Company in Clarksville. And 
the Claymans owned the Coca-Cola company. And I said, Bill, I need to use your Coca-Cola company in the middle of the night after you finish making your Coca-Cola. And I said, I can't tell you for what, but I just need it. So I went in, made those mint juleps in the Coca-Cola company, and the guard said, what is that? I said, I don't know. Finished the mint juleps, put them in silver cups, and froze them. And I said, just put them in the freezer, I'll pick them up, don't worry. So anyway, it was a fabulous, Fabulous outing, never, the United Nations has tried three times to duplicate what we did at Centennial Park. Can't happen. It just can't, they couldn't do it. I have never, never, never asked for anything but I've been at the right place at the right time. But what is time? It's a, it's a multitude of moments, which is all we have is the moment. I have let my moments empower my life. I've never been a joiner, I'm just letting moments empower my life. It's not about me, it's about those that have touched my life. Who am I? I'm just a, a, a woman of, a bold woman of conviction. The first three letters of my last name stands for FAD, and it also stands for Fine African Diamond. I've basically always preached that to my wife that one day, I'm gonna open a restaurant and I say, oh please, can you talk about something else? So it's always been in my blood, both my grandparents ran this kind of business back in Nigeria.